so right now i'm going to be showing you how to design thumbnail using cap cuts um i actually have a particular thumbnail that i would like us to be recreating this is a thumbnail that i would like us to recreate i designed this thumbnail i think about three to four months ago for one of my students and we also recreated this type of thumbnail now when it comes to thumbnail design using cap cuts first of all you need to get your image down it can be your personal image which is um just like this my thumbnail because this is my personal image and for this particular um motivational um channel this is the image the lion is the image okay so you have to get a particular image you're going to be using down and if you say oh princess i don't have any image i really don't know how you want your thumbnail to look like but you need to get an image this is also another type of thumbnail so this basic um step that i'm going to be showing you can work for any kind of thumbnail at all that you want to um recreate this particular thumbnail you all are seeing right now is just my picture the rest of the things here i generated them all by myself all right so without much being said so just like as i said you need to get your image now for this particular thumbnail that we want to design which is this lion thumbnail first of all head over to google and ask google to help you with an image of a lion image of a of a lion so just go over to the image side and select the particular one you want mind you i told you you can use chat gbt to get your idea that particular thumbnail we actually made use of chat gbt to get the idea but there won't be any time for that so we're just going to be designing anything okay so uh, i love this lion face let's go with this lion so the first thing you need to do is to save the image you just download and for you to save the image you, you just have to long press what is going on oh no um can i use this line okay let me try this line now so just long press and you see the option save to photo or you can screenshot and crop out the parts you want whichever one that works for you okay let's also save this one because i also love this lion's face all right now we've gotten the particular picture that we'll be using that is we've gotten the particular image which is um these pictures we have two picture now so the next thing we need to do is to remove the background of that picture if you check out all the thumbnails i have on my youtube channel each and every one of the thumbnails i have here i made sure that i removed their background because if they are with the background it's not going to be sitting well don't worry you're going to understand better so for you to remove background please you can as well jot it down head over to your browser then um enter your your keypad and type remove bg.com okay you can see it here remove background remove dot bg so just click on it then it's going to bring you to this interface what you have to do next is to click on upload image so the next thing is to click on photo library so first of all go ahead and select the image you saved from either google youtube or from anywhere so that you can remove the background okay so click on done and it's going to automatically erase the background have you seen it that it has removed the background of the lion so after this one let's go again and remove this other lion background so the same thing we have to do sorry we couldn't remove the background okay oh i'm really glad that something like this came up because there are some times that you try to remove the background of some image and google will start rejecting it so it means that this particular image the background cannot be removed so we have to get another lion image but there wouldn't be time for any of that the good thing is that we've been able to get this first background which is this one here 
where is okay which is this particular one so the next thing now is to head over to cap cuts now so uh, after you must have achieved this your image that you remove the background from um um google the next thing you need to have is a particular plain image which you're going to be using as your base okay for example just like as you can see this my thumbnail if you look closely this my thumbnail this thing at the background is the background base that i'm talking about and you can decide to get the image from anywhere okay let's check out on another um thumbnail i have here these are some of the background i downloaded from google what you just need to do is that is why i say try to visualize how your thumbnail will be try to get the visual then go to google and get the image okay so what you need to, to do now okay these are also some background that i saved for my videos and i share it to some of my students okay now the next thing we need to do is to head over straight to cap cut for us to be able to design our thumbnail now once you get to cap cut the next thing you need to do is to click on plus new project you tap on it and it will take you directly to your gallery first thing first is to for you to select a particular background that is the first thing before you bring up this lion that we removed the background just try to calm down and follow it up okay any part that you're finding it difficult please and please call to my attention okay it's actually a gradual process and we're going to all get it so for this lion and for the kind of um motivational video that i want to display i would like to use this kind of background either this one or this one okay let me still check if i still have other background that can go or even this one it depends on what you want it depends on what you are looking up to or even this background or even this background anyone okay so and this were the background i downloaded some months ago this background i got them from google i just went to google and i typed um a very dark fire burning image and google recommended all these for me so let's make use of one of them so what you just need to do is to click on it then you click on add it's going to bring you to the next interface which is this interface you can see how it's looking now mind you, you you have to always bear it at the back of your mind youtube thumbnail is 16 ratio 9 and cap cut is not going to even tell you that is why sometimes you design um thumbnail finish and youtube will reject it or the thumbnail will be looking so small this particular image i saved from um this particular image that i saved from google i didn't inform google that it's 16 ratio 9 that i want i just went there and i picked up any image i desire so what you need to do first of all track the aspect ratio which is by scrolling down here and this is the aspect ratio so when you click on the aspect ratio take it over to 16 ratio 9 once we click on 16 ratio 9 you will see that this image is supposed to be bolder now you click on 16 ratio 9 you can see it you can see that there are some spaces left now what you need to do is to use your hand to adjust it make it to fit you can see it now that the image is perfectly sitting well now this is the background that i want for my thumbnail so after you've been able to achieve this the next thing you need to do we need to bring up the lion then we write whatever we want to write on the thumbnail text so what you need to do now is to click on overlay once you click on overlay you click on plus add overlay then you go over to the lion image and this is the lion so we just click on it and bring it automatically over here you all can see the way it's looking this is the lion that we removed the background from so the next thing we need to do now is for you to write your thumbnail text you know 
just like as i taught us um some days ago if you don't know what to write on your thumbnail always make use of a chat gpt or go over to youtube's um search bar that particular video you have at mind search it and youtube is going to bring out people that that is people that have um recreated that kind of videos and it's performed well so you can also get inspiration by watching some of the videos okay so let's assume that for this my thumbnail i want to use the title um lion's mentality lion mentality and i don't like the way it's looking that is um the writing maybe i need something much more bold i can come over here to font and select any font i like i prefer elegant and elegant blk it actually helps to make my my writing standard that is my font standard but that is for um a youtube growth channel you can as well decide to make use of whatsoever work for you okay so let me try some of the fonts here okay this one is is actually nice lion's mentality or you write the lion first then write mentality below it anyone whichever one you want whichever one that works for you okay there is no permanent one there is nothing like oh if you use them um, elegant your videos are going to go viral no some people just um only design the thumbnail without even writing something on top of the thumbnail their videos still happen to go viral sometimes mm, i can as well decide to maybe bring it up because i want it to be somewhere here maybe that is why i'll have to write the lion alone let's see the way it will look lion okay then let me go back and write mentality below it mentality let's see how it's going to look i think it's much more better this way lion mentality so i can as well maybe okay make this lion much more bold then make the mentality smaller okay lion mentality so maybe below it i can come down to write um be brave be brave and bold this is just for example okay be brave and bold now since this one is going to be coming down i need to use a simpler um a very simple font okay be brave and bold i can put it here then maybe change the color to something else maybe this color okay this is actually nice just any color then let me use this one all right then for this lion i can decide to use this one and for the mentality for the mentality let's try to use another effect um let's try to make use of another effect mentality oh no <laughs> i think this red is off let's use white oh just anyone that works let's try to use maybe this lion mentality okay let's use white for it let's just use white for it okay so now let's assume that you are done with writing every single thing you need on your thumbnail the next thing you need to do is to add there is this particular adjust edit that i used to teach my students so right now guys let's assume that we are done with editing this thumbnail we just need to do a final touch up before we um, finally save it what you need to do is to come over to this place that says adjust now you click on the adjust once you click on the adjust click on this um sharpen drag the sharpen from the beginning to the end it's just it's going to actually make the, the thumbnail to spark that is to stand out okay then the next filter or the next effect you need here is clarity this clarity always take it to either the middle or just small like 23 or maybe 25 okay after that the next most important thing you need is come back and click on this video quality now once you click on the video quality you're going to see all these effects maybe on your own free time you can actually explore them 
but i think the only effect i prefer here is this enhanced quality so just click on the enhanced quality drag it from the beginning to the very end if you're able to get this and master this your thumbnails is your thumbnail is going to stand out so fine okay any niche this can work whether um chargivity helps you to like generate your thumbnail or maybe any app you can as well bring them down here and apply this thing it's going to make the thumbnail stand out so well yeah so once you're done just click on this now maybe after doing yours and that is your lion suddenly disappear do not be scared because I, I keep getting this kind of question from my one-on-one -on -one student most of the times so just go back um click on overlay you can see the lion so just um long press and drag it back you can see it now that the lion is sitting very very pretty okay now let me show you guys something let me adjust this main background imagine that i didn't remove um the background of this lion let's just imagine that i didn't remove the background by um going to google to remove bg.com now let me bring up that initial lion picture this is the initial lion picture right now let me bring it up here can you see the way it's looking it's 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 giving this vibe that the lion is somewhere else and then um, the background so it's not matching it's not matching at all now it, it, even if i say let me try to make it much more bold it's not matching now the lion itself the background the, um, the lion has is actually very very beautiful also and you can use it so for you to use it what you just need to do is to drag it drag it full i know that this thing might be sounding all that difficult and oh princess is so hard but believe me when i say if you start practicing it from time to time you're going to learn it this one also is actually very very beautiful so that's why i say do that is try your best to work with what you feel is right there is no um there is no um straight line that okay if you do this so your videos is going to stand out and maybe blow up so let's assume that we are done with designing this thumbnail we are done with every single thing we need for you to save from cap cut, what you need to do is to quickly take screenshots take screenshots and cut out the parts you'll be needing cut out the parts okay this is how to get a thumbnail from cap cut and our beautiful thumbnail is ready let's head over to our um, gallery to see it now this is the thumbnail how is this thumbnail rate this thumbnail is it not looking so fine yeah so i think we should be designing another type of thumbnail okay